Welcome back everyone. My people, a lot of people are jubilating after Amaka, the Canadian-based Igbo woman, speaks out after her so-called arrest. My deal, she was never arrested. Canadian police only invited her for questioning. And in this video, she's going to explain everything and also what made her to say what she said concerning Benin's and Yorubas. Let me allow you guys to listen to her and I'm going to be right back. Bitch, I'm not, I'm not, ha okay, that's the reason. Okay, I'm not I'm okay. Not. I was I've been so down all day because I don't like the I I don't like what happened to be honest. So I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. I, I can understand. So guys, it's not AI, this is Amaka herself. So let me start by saying this. Um how because I know you acted on the moment and guys god is my witness i didn't rehearse anything with amaka i wanted it to be as raw as possible i am not here to defend her i'm not here to support to support her what i'm here to do is to give her an opportunity to say her own side of the story now amaka can you please let us know how all this what led to that video that we saw online and was it actually you talking in that video okay thank you yeah so i i joined tiktok a couple of um months ago not up to a year but you know when i joined tiktok i go to you know you know tiktok can just you know direct you to to the fyp to view uh, random videos right mm -hmm. And then Sorry, what, what is FYP? Because I'm not too conversant. Is that for you? It's called for you page. Okay, for you page. Okay. So the, uh, few, uh, what they do, TikTok uh, recommend. It depends on how. It depends on the, the people you view. If you view anything from Nigeria hmm. or Kenya or Ghana, they recommend hmm. things for you from that country. Okay. For example, I added a lot of celebrities from Nigeria, so they recommend. They recommended the uh, Nigerian things, um, you know, platforms and you know things like that. Sure, sure, sure. So every FYP that I see is always people talking about Igbos. Mm -hmm. You know, the Benin people, the Yorubas, just these two people. To be honest, no other person, just the Benins and the Yorubas. Maybe a little bit of other other tribe, but the the ones that I really saw was the Yorubas and the and the Benins. Okay, so every FYP is about Igbos, right? They're talking about Igbos, talking about Mazinam the Kano, talking about how Ojuku went to the bank in Benin during the war to steal. You know, so many they, 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 they say so many things. I have I have them on video. You know, if you want, I can play some of it for you. And yeah, sometimes they make. Sorry. Go ahead. Yes, that's what I would like to play some of. The, I mean, today is whatever you. We want to know what led to that outburst. So please, yeah, that's what. I, that's why I'm driving. On, to. Yeah, the videos you want to play, uh, go ahead by all means. Okay. So sometimes they, you know, they talk about how Ojuku went to Benin during during the war. He stole five five million pounds in the in the bank. That Ojuku must return it. If not, they're gonna always slander the the names of Ndibo. You know. So I, I this, sometimes I, I just I click in to go to their platform so that I can contribute. But I found out that majority of these people are not educated, right? when i'm talking left they are going right when i'm going right they're going left you know the understanding is not there because most of these people are from benin and um and uh, you know i don't know if they know the history i don't know if they know the history because i never my parents never told me how ojuku went to the bank and how namdekano is a pedophile you know uh things like that you know so this has been happening sometimes i send requests to go you know debunk some of the things that they say and 
um they always tell me that no 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 you can't you can't come up you can't come up and sometimes they bring me up we we argue about it i try to tell them that oh no it's not like this it's not like that there was a time they even mentioned that Igbos eat humans you know i was like they, you know they they changed our history totally there was a day i came back home i started to search about my history i started to search if i'm really you know an Igbo person you understand because the things that they say to be honest if you are not strong you you get depressed you know so i see a lot of Igbo people also complaining on fyp making a little bit of video because Igbos don't really people are not very good with this social media thing to be honest what, since tiktok came out this is actually my my first time you know i think four months ago being on tiktok yeah and um so they, they actually they were just saying a lot of things and you know saying that uh, they're going to unalive the Igbos, they are going to pound uh the, when they get to benin they're going to pound the kids they're going to look for a lot of kids little kids that they will make sure that these kids don't grow because if they grow up they're going to be uh, terrorists you know that um uh, nandikano is training the Igbos, uh the Igbos, Igbo women and men on how to you know to be bandits and you know different things that sometimes i come home and i'm to be honest i'm a very emotional person i, I was even at, at some point i was thinking that oh maybe tiktok is not for me maybe i should i should leave uh tiktok but then i just wanted to debunk those things that they said because i am i'm i'm a, I'm a poor Igbo woman from a number of states you know so um i tried to talk to some of them but um they did not uh, hold on one second who is that who is there that is that dial yeah. okay did you, did, you t did you send me a test today okay okay I'm, I'm coming i'm on a live stream okay okay thank you sorry about that everybody so um so that so i was sometimes i come home i go on google to check if actually what my parents told me about my history is right you know this is th these are these are narcissists because they 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 hurt you and they don't want you to cry and when you complain they call you cry cry baby you guys feel you are marginalized always you guys are always complaining you guys are this you guys are that that's why you guys are not nigeria if you if you want to go go you guys want to go go this is just divide don't just go we if you go we will give you your five plot of uh, land or whatever they say they always say, there's this guy they call him sima and sima on tiktok he's a he's a biafran before but i think something happened so he left the the ipob group and he started talking from this guy comes on live and he talks about ipob from morning till evening he brings Igbo people up to his platform because he, you can send a request and they bring you up he brings Igbo people up and once you come up he asks you i don't know where he gets those questions question upon and then he brings another guy both of them you know they i think they all they already pre-planned pre so many things before they come they come on live right because the way they put put out the question they very consistent they ask you a question about the Igbo history the, if you're if you're about to answer that question they put they put another one to you and you see a lot of Igbo people are not on social media and they're not used to social media and you, you can you can just tell that those guys that come up on that platform they are not really good on social media because the way you, you even see those evil guys pleading please now let me talk now my brother let me talk now please that, that, that's that's bully that's intimidation I'm like, you know I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, sorry sorry I'm, I'm not trying to cut you because i um a lot of people who are here they are a lot of people are impatient because of what is already happening and uh, okay yeah so what I really want to zoom in on, I really, really wish I had um, your visuals because it will really make, it, it will make this make more meaning because um, honestly, uh, talking and you're there and people are not seeing you at this critical time, it's really, it doesn't make it look good. I know you're upset, but I told you, listen, yeah, Can you know, you know? exactly. Even though it's dark, but... Okay. Um, 
yeah it, it's dark if you have a little light it'll make it better you're not bad come on women are always <laughs> no i um, i look stressed up i don't want them taking my no they, they have done a lot i don't want them taking my picture everywhere okay no problem because yeah yeah they're this always, is, they're always, they're always yeah. in record take yeah, pictures this is, and... this is this is this is yeah this is this is good this is this is okay i can manage this so what i was trying to say is this right um i will play the videos that you sent to me because my one of my primary assignments here is i want to know what prompted that video that we saw by the way what was going on when you said that then was it on your channel were you a guest in another channel no it was my it was my channel because i i opened um i grew my page okay so the the videos you sent me where are those videos from the ones i want to play now okay so when all these things started happening people contact Ibo, Ibo people contacted me and told me that oh you know you know you have to you, you know you have to debunk this because if you don't debunk it people are going to be like oh okay you're a troublesome person i'm not so um they started telling me okay i have a video um of uh, where joy was talking about you about egos somebody somebody dm me again i said i have this and then um during that time i i was recording some of some of their conversation that are very sensitive so um i can two of them i i did i made the screen record myself and there's a lot that people have been sending to me a lot like i can't even go to my TikTok right now because um i can't even open my dm because the, the messages there are not um very okay so it's, so let me ask you this amongst these videos which is it the two that you screenshot yourself that really provoked that video that you you guys made yes so, so which, one, which one is that there's um, um the one that really the one that really provoked me was when one guy said that he will be going to there there will be a function in Austria that he will that he will poison the evils. Okay, I'm going to play I'm gonna play you tell me which video is it. That I was is it that one? Uh, is it that one? Um it, it, I have it here though. I don't know the one I I, I have a lot. I'm so sorry. Okay. I've been so no, so no. no, it's okay. It's okay. If you play it, I can I can tell you whether it's um uh, is the one. to form a better opinion or to have a better judgment. So, like I always say, let everybody be coming down. Mr. Daniel, I will I will still talk to you. You are on that's, the FYP. You have to listen you have to receive my course are you listening to me you and all your generation all your Igbo generation the biafra all the hindu won't coco you shall perish this your protest you are bringing no protest is going to work because we know you people are the people hiding under the protest it's not going to work you will say you don't have handle you don't want to protest oh. you are the one championing it and uh, this uh, useless uh, peter will be with his small useless voice is the one financing this uh this uh protest so you shall all die you shall die that river ninja we will bury you in river ninja come just start your your fucking protest we know you are people under under this protest when you start it you will see what will happen you people will die and nothing will happen heaven will never fall so that's it if so when make we begin the show then even you do the time who got me to you if it's true oh no me we go okay okay so like man you might have you guys you want me and that's when i meet the ostra kinsley while they check on a near way 2007 the person who sees the afla flag for stadium and me do one we go court and i defeat them one man i ask for the making any party where you go there they see me at that day because a way here they don't say i go run them enter them and they don't give me food now where i go take run enter them i don't know how um you know why people did i don't know but this video of um petaluchi with the shake uh, on your face i did don't try this 
to above Bini. If not, men they will behead you as in the come your head sharp. No time. They are evil. They are not good people. So South Africa, as I say it again, if you are from South Africa, from Namibia, from Zimbabwe, anywhere you come from, run from there. I don't community they do our thirty first anniversary. May I take poison? Ne, a managing and I will raise I will hear as near you as I. I go teach them lesson. If I will back better, who tear bone every man? Oh, why are you? Why are you? Why am I? I'm the PRO of the community. I told you, I don't know. I'm very good at it. All those bad news you hear in Nigeria, those bad news, majority of them, they come from this evil clan. My people, Africans, unite and stop Igbo. That is all I want to say. Thank you very much. So if you do not really do a point here, if you do not really, any Bini person who stand on this way of freedom, we go march and pass. Whether you do pass or we go march and pass. Whether you march and pass, we go march and pass. So what do you want? We get we get xenophobia for Nigeria. Xenophobia we get for Nigeria like the Igbo. They are the second xenophobia like South Africa. Yes. Let me talk. Shut up your mouth, Mr. Man. I'm talking. Don't shut up your mouth when I'm talking. Look, this is the problem here. South Africans, I want you to understand that there is a particular group of Nigerians that uh, are Tapo, causing problems. They're going to tell us country. go and fix our problem. Leave yes, it. you are yeah, right. Let's just fix our own problem. Hold on, hold on. They can't be defending their land. They are telling them that they're going to understand. We don't care which type of Nigerian you are. Go be good, go be amazing in your own country. Can you listen to me? Let me talk. Wait. We know the people who are causing problems in your country. And these people, we ourselves as Nigerians, we want them gone. Don't go. If you don't want them there in your Nigeria, what must we do about them? You must come and face them. Don't come and lecture us with your nonsense here. Don't listen to him, Jerry. That guy is a clown. You know what? I don't like this thing of these people coming on here and then they have their own time. Thank you. Thank you, know? you very much. And then much when for we come when we speak about Nigerians, the Yorubas will come and say, but not us, you know? Cash you. Agbero when are they insult now they monitor na back to back now for Lagos states. Now do anyhow now they go quench in our back. Everyone they no come out during the protest. Though. If you try it, Yamini. In Yamini, you see my uh, this is in our office manu. They don't, they don't give me any before. I be manu. I don't accept them. And see, you see people not believe me because they go ahead. So when they say for you, but no, I was saying forty boy. I only mind forty boy. But when they think that back to back, they're my mother. Who go to give you back? Kalonye, you be fast, you learn. I do. What you go show now for this Lagos? In a no feet, Okay, so in that video, this is a collection of videos a collection of videos um the reason why i really felt when i saw the video that others should also hear it is because i don't think a lot of us know that this kind of thing goes on on TikTok. you see why you have to be very careful about jumping into conclusion okay i'm not trying to defend anybody but it is important that you also hear this part of the whole gist. Now, let me play another video here. Uh, our double silencer. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. You are the one that made me to uh, go back to our sister. Um, give me your number. I've given her my number. But maybe as we are going, she may, she may join us. It doesn't stop us from doing what we are doing. What we are doing is to debunk every lies. Those of you that are IT technicians, your help is needed here. And um, some of us that are also good with graphic works and how to compile it. Sometimes things happen for a purpose. And um, for unification of our people so that we stand at every truth and every honesty and stand on on the one Nabal also, uh, which is what we know by Mazen Namdukan. And that is why we stand by him till today. We don't want to allow his message to be something to write home about, but um, notwithstanding, 
The reason why I'm here today is because of our lovely sister, the sister that made us proud, the sister that, um, you know, show us that, yes, a woman can at the same time rua, rua. We have a lot of people, we have a lot of gallant men and women. The only thing is that to discover them so that they can be able to join us in what we are doing. What we are doing is nothing but to protect the interests of our land and our children that is to come. Let me tell many of you what is going on. This is not new. But what is new is the reaction of our people. This blind allegation, accusation, you know, um, ethnic bigotry, uh, you know, just to tarnish our image, to relegate us to, to background, it has been there. That is what brought Mazen Nambekan out. And that is why his voice is so much hard. Sometimes you don't understand the genesis, you will say he's arrogant. But the, what is new now is men and women of goodwill are now speaking up. And um, nobody is trying to talk about Beck. Beck, let us, um, let us uh, forget. Anybody that writes it here, we block the person. Our lovely sister, Anya Nambra. Um, you said she wants to join us. I want to come up on your live stream to debunk those lies. Okay. Um, you know, as much as um, we have, our, we schedule our program. If I still see you here, I'll bring you in. Uh, but um, let's be bringing people in gradually. Please, if you come in, if you come in, you mute yourself. If you come in, you mute yourself. I want here to be, I want us to be organized. Today, program is going to be a little bit different. Some of you know the reason why I'm here, but um, necessity is the mother of invention. But I'm going to touch it a bit so that we start deceiving our people in the course of looking for freedom. That is basically what brought me here. And then before I now saw our sister, uh, uh, Anya Nambra, you know, with her second page, uh, because they block her, the main page. You know, Nigerian government with their money, they can tear TikTok or pull it down. And now his um, backup account is here, and uh, he gives me her, her number. In case she's in, she she gonna be she gonna join us. Um, if you come in here, get Jirajiro. Now, let me tell you the good news. Uh, Canadian police, not only Canada, European police, Western world police, they are not corrupt. Some of you don't know what is corruption. Corruption destroy people. Corruption. So that is the reason why. Anywhere you see any country that is corrupt, nothing moves. It is cancer that tie every development from manifesting. So, from the Canadian police, what they are asking is, do we have any evidence that prompted our sister to make such utterances? Hello? Yes, who am I speaking with? Oh, now, what for you? You don't know my voice again. I'm, I'm not again. I'm, I'm, I'm live now. I'm live. Okay, you're not live. I know. Oh, I will. I will. I'm about to go. Can you put out? You watch. I know my life now. All face. You know. They're okay. Can't pay. Even the even the even the business of the Yoruba that we open at the Oku. Now I am okay that I do the same with. Has a man. Has a man. Nigeria system. Has a has a toilet in Gaza. A toilet with twenty years imprisonment. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> ah, Nigeria, ah, Nigeria, ah, Nigeria. Now, wow, I did, I did house, so I know they come back from shopping. I want just uh, arrange everywhere, uh, take yes. a shower. Anya, no, Anya, no, Emma. Normally, our people, when you talk about um, uh, uh, invitation to something or something else, some of them start. Even it's not them. I don't blame the youth. It's the newspaper. Newspaper is carrying the thing here and there. Every newspaper, you know. Okay. And so, but we have gone to the. I, I went to the source where they are demanding uh, evidence to show that uh, such a thing happened. And that is why we convite tonight. And luckily to have you. Please tell us how are you feeling, our sister? I'm good. I'm good. It's just an invitation exactly. that the federal, exactly. federal government told uh, the Canadian police that I'm a terrorist. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, okay. Nigeria. Nigerian government. Nigeria government is it, uh, exactly. police that I'm a terrorist. Uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, many of you don't know what we are passing. They have written a, also a letter here to tag every IPOB terrorist. 
the same thing they did. Are you serious? Yes, now nah, ah. Normally we're supposed to educate someone of someone of you that not into what we are doing. I mean, who maybe you just encounter us. They have uh, the police summon us, the whole IPOB member in this Austria. We went to the police station with the representative, which I was I, I was among, and we went there. They, took, they gave us the letter that um, they said we should stop, the Nigerian government said they should stop all our activities that were, we are terrorists. And you know, uh, Europeans are not, they are not foolish. So they, they now ask us what we do for a living, they monitor our activities, and they say we should go that we are not. Even since that time, any event they want to do, they will invite us to come. Wow. Yes, yes. You see? Nigerian government is telling Canada that they are terrorists. You see? How could now here? Our sister, that's, don't, that's don't be offended. They, they, people are hearing your voice. I hope it's not a problem. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, no problem. I, I'm just, I was just wondering because a lot of people were just uh, messaging me on my WhatsApp and saying that uh, I'm in jail. Like, how? How? <laughs> you to to Before you go to jail, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't go to court, they'll just take you to jail. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so yeah, that is it. Anyways, anyways, this is my new my new account. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna grow the page because TikTok is really scared of me right now. Uh, wait, TikTok I have to I have to tell our people. The way, the way scared, eh? Have you have you gotten to one thousand? No, I haven't. Please tell them to follow me so I will get to 1,000. Uh -huh. uh, will, I will tell them now. I will tell them. If you still want to join us on there, because I'm on um, I'm on a TikTok, easier. In fact, let me tell you what we are doing for you. If you come to my TikTok, you see your, your picture boldly. And at the same time, what I want our people to do, because we want to, uh, the police, I saw uh, police um, number written there and their website and the Facebook and the YouTube. So they were demanding if we have any information regarding what happened, we should send it to them. So that is what we have compiled. And that is what we, we are here to educate our people how we are going to go about it so that as we are sending those messages we'll be giving them a call because the number is there our sister uh i i know i know when we hear about it we know that is one of those things so that is why we we told uh, people do a lot of people that we are panicking to be honest some uh, a guy called me that is ready to donate whatever if it is money so that we start doing something uh, hey, oh, my people do love me, oh. for sure for sure <laughs> for sure our sister <laughs> For sure, our sister. Hey, my girl. Okay, somebody say, Love at least, know, at least I can eat now. Ah, uh, you know? Please, our sister. Oh, our sister. Oh, oh. Hey, Una, Una, thank you. Thank you, guys. I love you. Love you, oh, I love you, I love you. So, my people, that is it. I hope you guys had everything Amaka said here, like what prompted her to say what she said about Yorobas and Benes. And everyone should go and rest because Amaka is not in the prison. As the news was, you know, circulating that she was arrested. Now you can see that she was not arrested. They only called her for questioning. And this is a lesson to Nigerians because we thought that the way we do things in Nigeria is the same way other people do their own. No, it's totally different. Like the system in abroad is totally different from that of Nigeria. You cannot just point at someone that police should go ahead and arrest this person because this person said this or that. No. Before police will arrest you in abroad, my people, there must be thoroughly investigation, like much evidence that will prove your case that yes, this person is what you said that she is. Just as they say that she is a terrorist. Oh my God, this is so, so laughable, honestly. So my people, that is it. I would love you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about uh, the whole brouhaha? And please, if today is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next update. Goodbye for now. Welcome to Shamers in your TV.